What is up, Man NFL 25 gamers? Welcome to our video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to stop the run from the 4 6 bear uh, formation, guys. And uh, the play that I really like to use uh, when we talk about stopping the run and kind of gap integrity and all that, I really like to use. Uh, I, I was going to talk a lot about the Engage 8. Uh, and it's you could actually apply some of these concepts to the Engage 8, but we're going to show it to you out of uh, the man cover one, but you can actually do the same thing out of engage eight. So what we want to do here is we want to just base align our defense, and then we're going to spread our defensive line. And then I like to take this guy right here, McDonald, put him into a flat zone. I like to pass him in, as you guys know. And I'm just going to bring the safety down. Now, the only guy that's uncovered is the tight end. That's going to be my responsibility as a user player. And uh, you see here, it's just uh, I just want to shoot the gap. And real quickly here, I want to show you what just happened because I got caught up in there, and that was kind of a little bit weird. Uh, watch what happens here on this play. Look at this. Watch this. This dude teleported. Watch this. And this is what's wrong with Madden 25. Watch this guy. Watch him teleport. You see that? Now, I want you to watch it in real time. Okay, now we're slowing it down. Watch real time. Look at that. Look at that. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that real quick. See that he's there and then just phew. Phew. <laughs> that is hilarious. And uh, if anyone has that guy on their offensive line, Hunter Dahl, uh, it's going to be a tough game. But uh, anywho, uh, but that that's what we like to do, guys. And uh, basically here, uh, you could do this a couple of ways. You could slant your line a couple of ways if you want to. Uh, but basically, if you hold if you hold that turbo button and you pass commit, you should get a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the running back. And uh, I think that that's the best way to stop the run here. Uh, just try to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup. You want to just try to fill all the gaps. And uh, I like to hold the turbo button. And you see we're really pretty good on the run to the right. The only thing that's kind of worrisome is the run to the left. And that's why we drop a flat zone over there. Uh, to that side, we could take Finnegan actually and put him in a deep, in a hook zone, and then we can YY cushion coverage, run a little zone man hybrid here, uh, and it just gives us a little bit better value in terms of stopping the run on that edge. Um, but basically, guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Uh, obviously, if they teleport, then um, you know that's a, that's a little bit of a advanced running play, and I don't really know how to tell you to stop that, but uh, typically that won't happen. But you see here, I mean. And the main thing for this play, and what you could actually do is blitz this guy down and then kind of drop Stewart and set the edge with him. So let's see if this, let's show you this uh, little version here. It sends six, but you're basically just going to have to wrap around. The only reason I don't like that, and what I, I think I am forgetting to do here is pass commit. I need to pass commit. And we'll see here, he should shoot out to the outside. And then again, like I said, it's your job as a user to set the edge. Okay, now real quick here, I don't really feel like I need to show you this, but uh, we'll look here to the right side and show you again. Runs to the right side, it's the same thing. You just get wide, get wide, get wide, force him back up the middle, and you, you're just saying, okay, my my defensive lineman here, they need, to, uh, they need to be big for me. Okay, so you're setting the edge and you're forcing that run back inside and here you see that actually the bear does a good job of setting the edge on its own and so you can actually if you want to you can just feel the gap here um, one thing also that you might consider doing is re-blitzing this linebacker so that it's a more of a straight down blitz so that he can kind of get uh get more straight down get more leveled with that uh play there another thing that's popular with some guys is to drop uh finnegan here in a flat zone Take this guy McDonald, put him in a hook zone, and then drop that. You're kind of watching, and if he passes, you would just go and recover deep. But basically, this just gives you a couple of free, a uh, little bit better of an opportunity to get a block shed. Um, but you guys can do whatever you want here. But this is just another option uh, for you to use to stop the run. I really like it. It's it, it's the weak way is to run it is if they run off the left side. But it's still not too bad on the left side because you have a blitzer there. And if your blitzer is anything special, you know he'll probably blow that up. Another thing you could also do is spread your linebackers. It's going to bring that middle linebacker over. He could maybe eat up a blocker or two. 
and force you to get in the backfield and stop it. But those are some basic concepts, guys, of how I like to stop the run in Madden 25. Uh, that's from the 4-6 bear, man cover one. You just want to base a line, spread your uh, defensive line, and then pass commit. And you can drop that safety into a flat zone, and uh, he can kind of swing out there for you against those outside runs. So that's the way I like to stop the run from the 4-6 bear. If you guys have any suggestions uh, of ways that you like to stop the run, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments below. But this is my very basic run defense and I hope that it's beneficial to you guys. So that's the video for today, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.